Hi everyone, I'm Bhante Dhammaloka and uh, this is uh, the fourth video we are making uh, on a series of video we are uh, doing to teach you Buddhism um, especially to the children who live in the western part of the world. Uh, Bhante Dhammasari, my good friend, invited me, requested me to do these videos uh, and uh, after accepting his request, we have been doing a few other videos so far and I encourage you to watch them all before you start watching this uh, video and this is the fourth video and um, in the last few videos we, we learned um, about the Buddha and uh, his uh, life story uh, from uh, his uh, uh, birth to until he get the, the name uh, that we call naming ceremony uh, so so far you know that he was a, uh, he was born into a royal family and he was a prince and uh, his uh, father was King Suddhodana and uh, he was born in India and all this story then uh, the background story uh, you should know right now by then uh, by now and uh, from now we going to discuss uh, on his uh, childhood education and until he uh, leave his uh, palace to become uh, become an ascetic you know, start the spiritual practice uh, so um, if you remember in the last of the in the, the immediate uh, uh, the previous video uh, you've learned uh, that he got the name Siddhartha uh, the fifth day after his, he was born, uh, there was a big ceremony, big celebration for that. And then uh, after two days, that means seven days after his birth, uh, something very sad happened, which is, uh, uh, which is very sad, but it, was, it is something, uh, uh, the way that it, uh, uh, where, I mean, how to say, prevailed, you know. Uh, I mean, this, uh, it, that's the na way it works when a bodhisattva or a person who become a Buddha uh, grow up in a mother's womb, that mother's womb is preserved only for that particular uh, person, that special person. No one else can uh, grow up in that womb. That's, so that all these things we, you will learn in the future videos. And um, uh, anyway, that uh, the sad story that uh, his mother Pinchidatha's mother died um, seven days after his birth and then he, his, uh, I mean, Prince Mahamaya's sister, uh, uh, King, uh, Mahaprajapati Gautami, uh, had to take care the baby, Prince Siddhartha, um, after uh, Queen Mahamaya's death. So now, uh, he, uh, with all the luxuries, he's growing up and now he start to show that uh, his character what kind of person he is and everyone noticed that he's a very uh, intellectual and uh, and he, he also had this uh, special nature that he questioned things you know uh, very curious why it happened why it happened so and uh, why why it happened this way not the other way and all kind of that that, that nature curiosity uh, special uh, character and he was very intellectual and intellectual um, he could understand things very clearly even by reasoning no one had to explain sometimes so uh, as a prince growing up prince uh, he had he had to learn all the necessary skills you know uh, develop uh, to to be a king in the future uh, something like you know uh, martial arts and even the how to use a weapon at that time it was like sword and you know knife uh, how to fight and um, even the the law you know, all kind of thing he has to learn uh, he had to learn so he learned all that i mean without any effort he was very intellectual he was a very good student he learned all that so he growing up uh, with all the luxuries so to explain uh, his special nature there's a very famous story from his childhood um, one day there was a 
ceremony you know the plowing ceremony preparing the paddy field uh, before seeding uh, so everyone they do it in a ceremonial manner even today in india it's a big ceremony i think uh, they practice it uh, so they were they were a big gathering including the king and uh, the all the relatives and uh, people uh, doing that uh, plowing thing and also enjoying uh, with other eating and dancing and all kind of thing uh, when it happened uh, it says that prince siddhartha uh, sat under a tree and was uh, in a deep uh, meditative state of mind he was thinking why everyone enjoying and the people are very happy but the animal have to work so hard and then uh, he moved to other uh, side and he saw uh, it says that he saw a uh, uh, lizard lizard eating ants and then uh, soon after um, a snake came and e- eat the uh, the lizard and uh, the the lizard was later eaten by a, a bird so then he he question why why it happened so and uh, everything that things that they enjoy they were happy seems to be happy uh, become something else something very sad everything in in a uh, negative state so why it's so that kind of it's a very famous story and uh, explained uh, his special character what kind of character he is you know so he grew up like this with all the luxuries and comfort but still he was a different person and uh, on the other hand uh, the father noticed everything father noticed that this he is a different person and he's growing up to be uh, some someone uh, uh, more spiritual uh, teacher than a universal monarch you know as that kondanya uh, the wise man the young wise man predicted um, he looks seems like he he has no interest uh, interest in uh, becoming a king uh, rather he would be a, uh, a, a spiritual teacher or oh, you know at that time it was also a kind of trend there were so many other religion and also religious leaders uh, the king start to feel worry you know he start feeling worry and uh, it, it seems like that you know that's that's that kind of thought uh, disturb his father's uh, father and uh, father wanted to do something about it uh. so the king uh, that is worry some feeling that the, the king sudodana Uh, had was uh, disturbing really disturbing him uh, he wanted to do something you know before it too late so he plan uh, to 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 create a, a palace with all the comfort and uh, believing that if he can give yeah so he believed that if he can uh, give him all the the luxuries uh, you know let him enjoy the the worldly pleasures uh, he would uh, he he will stay uh, in lay life and uh, with the family and be the king and be what he want him to be uh, believing i mean he he thought it would be a good idea to do it that way so he he gave all the luxuries he could give you know it says that even he did not let the uh, elderly woman uh, the old woman or men to come into uh, the the royal palace uh, actually uh, it says that he created three palaces three palaces for him uh, to let his mind attach with the worldly pleasures for the three seasons you know they say ram ramya suramya and suba for the three seasons you know don't i mean not to feel uh, any discomfort uh, in the palace so three palaces just for him to to enjoy i mean to live happily so thinking that he would uh, uh, stay in the the palace and uh, not to leave the palace to not to leave to become an ascetic or start that uh, spiritual uh, and journey to become a religious teacher but um later when we study uh, the story goes on and he did not uh, keep his mind uh, 
uh, happy with all those thing but still question things but finally um, his father uh, arranged the, a marriage for him the, and uh, it was also very difficult to find a princess but uh, finally all that happened it was uh, uh, his uh, soul made in today's term he, they were in uh, they were traveling in this samsaric journey the life after life in uh, when we learn uh, in the the buddhism we learned that uh, she came with him even from his uh, uh, previous life not only previous life so many life span uh, before he uh, came into this last birth uh, just before he become the buddha so uh, finally uh, it was arranged and uh, he was married to uh, queen uh, um, uh, yashodara uh, i mean say yashodara princess yashodara and uh, now that officially uh, family so the yashodara was a very um, loving and caring uh, intellectual lady and uh, she was the the person um, actually uh, intended to be his uh, beloved wife in his last i mean last life before he become the buddha he was so supportive and understand uh, i mean she could understand what he uh, want uh, wants to be and all that supporting him giving him all the the courage and moral support so all that happened but uh, uh, it was destined uh, to that uh, to be uh, i mean he was destined to be the buddha so one day he has to leave the the family life and start that spiritual journey it happened with uh, we call it four uh, sides uh, you know seen four things uh, day after day i th- they said uh, they it moved his mind and uh, he 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 changed his mind and he won't really become a monk this four sides says uh, an old person um and then a uh, um, dead person uh, a sick person and uh, an ascetic uh, or a monk so this four side uh, gave him uh, the idea to leave uh, this is the time to leave the the palace and become an ascetic so the he questioned when he saw that old man oh, uh, would i be an old like this i uh, would i have a sickness like this would i have a Uh, you know to die one day like this uh, so all these questions said that he wanted to find the answer solution for this you know so then uh, this light shine on him uh, that when he saw this ascetic or monk oh, this is the the path to to understand uh, the answer get the answer for these uh, things if the life has uh, uh, we have to face in life uh, all these uh, four things i mean three things like uh, being sick being uh, go into a old life old age and death is there a way to overcome yeah you have to find by yourself being a monk and ascetic then uh, he decide to leave the palace um, and uh, finally start uh, his spiritual journey as an ascetic so in the next videos we will learn we will discuss and uh, uh, how he uh, spent his ascetic life and finally uh, became the buddha so with that i'm going to conclude the the video today and uh, hope to see you in the next video and uh, stay blessed um, happy and healthy and wish you a long life sadhu